Getting the perfect exposure for your photographs may sound like the simplest of things, but there are times when your camera can't cope with the lighting or the contrast. In this next episode of our photography series, we're going to show you how to use HDR to fix those niggling issues. There is a common misconception as to what HDR actually means, often being mistaken for quality or resolution. HDR actually relates to the range of dynamics within an image, or to put it simply, it means a high contrast between the lightest and darkest parts of an image. Back when film was more prevalent, one photographer, Ansel Adams, created something called the Zone System, which was a technique designed to find the optimal exposure of film and development. This was a very technical process, way beyond reach for most of us. It wasn't quick and it wasn't easy, although the results did speak for themselves. Modern technology provides a solution in HDR. This setting is found in most modern cameras and video equipment. You may even find it in your smartphone, like this one here. To find HDR, you may need to navigate through the settings menu. Once found, tap to turn on. It's worth noting at this point that some phones offer more than one setting. Now it's selected, I'm going to frame my scene and press this button to capture it. What you may notice is that your phone takes a little longer to capture the photo because it's actually taking three pictures at different exposures rather than just one. Your phone then does the clever work of stitching them all together. One photo captures the highlights, another the shadows and another the midtones. Let's look at the comparisons. HDR works for a multitude of scenes, but where it should be avoided is in photos, with moving objects and scenes with vivid colour, as HDR can wash them out. Be sure to check out the other episodes from our mobile photography series, and if you did want to share your examples of HDR images, then head over to our social feed, at 3Discovery.